So I'm just rinsing the rice. I'm not going to use any grains. Water is a bit clearer. You know that you've got rid of the starch on your rice. So, whether you're cooking for two people or 102 people, however much rice you've got in your pan, this will always be the right amount of water. So, you need to add enough water. So that when you put the backs of your fingers on the top of the rice, they need to be just covered. So just straighten out your rice or flatten it out so that you can check it. Put the backs of your fingers and if you're just, your fingers are just covered by the water, then that will be the perfect amount of water. Then all you need to do is add a good sprinkle of salt. Be quite generous with salt. Then put your rice on the hob on a high heat and bring the water to the boil. So the rice is bubbling now. Um, just let it keep bubbling. Don't be tempted to stir it. And the water is starting to disappear. It's still bubbling quite fast, um, but the rice really is still covered by water. So I'm just leaving it for a bit longer. Now this is only about a minute later, but uh, it's hard to tell from the bubbles on the video, but basically um, it's not, the rice is no longer covered by water. I'm just going to stir it and hopefully it will show that. So you can hear it's really going a bit, a bit wild. Um, but the water is no longer on the top, there's the rice on the top and there's still plenty of water underneath. So I've given it that one stir, I'm not stirring again, just put the lid on and turn the heat right down and turn it off. You, if you've got a gas hob, you could just turn it right down to very, very low, but with an electric hob it just stays pretty hot underneath. So you can stay, see that it's still bubbling away in there. The steam will be trapped in with the lid and I'm just going to leave that pan now to stand for about half an hour, maybe 20 minutes. So here, I think we're probably only about 10 or 15 minutes since the last video. Um, just left this pan off on the hob <laughs> with the lid on. And let's just take it off and have a look. You can, might just be able to see with all the steam that the rice is perfectly done. Um, what I do like to do, you can choose whether or not you do this, is I always just add, at this stage, a little bit of butter. It does add a few extra calories, but it tastes good. <laughs> um, and then I'll just leave that there to melt. Put the lid back on, and I'll just leave that for another five minutes. Okay, so just five minutes later, the butter has melted into the rice, so I'm just going to give it one more stir. It's quite hard to do with one hand. <laughs> but you can see that it's nice and fluffy. It's all cooked through and it's ready to eat. If it wasn't um, cooked through yet, then you just put the lid back on and leave it to steam for a few more minutes. No need to add any more water. The steam will keep doing, doing its job. So. I hope that helps and I hope that you enjoy your rice and your curry.